Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. We are live here at ITW 2023. This is ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV. We're at the National Harbor in Maryland, right outside of DC. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, and joining me today, I'm so honored to have Vani Venkatesh, the CEO of Global Business for Airtel Business. Vani, welcome back to JSA TV. Thank you, Jamie. We are so excited to have you here. So much going on. Of course, this uh, floor here at ITW is just, it's thriving. It's its so so much energy. You can feel it's it. It's buzzing. Isn't yes, it? yes. I'm so excited to yeah. be here, have this yeah. industry just back in full force. Yeah. So many people. So uh, for our viewers who might not already know, hopefully they do, but can you just tell us a little bit about uh, Airtel Business and what makes it such a unique organization? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Jamie. And uh, likewise, firstly, really lovely coming back here. And the buzz is very palpable, so really looking forward to the next couple of days here. Yeah. So coming to Airtel, uh, so uh, we are a large company with uh, operations and licenses in India and Africa, and we have subsea cables across the world. So what we basically do is uh, provide all connectivity and digital connectivity solutions to our customers across subsea cables, terrestrial fibers in India, in Africa, data centers, cloud, IoT. So we are pretty much known as a one-stop tech shop for our B2B enterprise customers. A one-stop shop and great at it too. Uh, incredible people on your team and uh, incredible service. So uh, key, key differentiators for sure. And also, you guys recently uh, announced a channel partnership with Bridgeport, uh, Bridgepoint Bridgeport, Technologies. Yeah. yeah, Can you tell us a little bit more about your partnership? Yeah, we are super excited about Bridgepoint. Thanks for bringing that up, Jamie. Uh, the reason we are super excited about Bridgepoint is uh, because we have a lot in India and Africa. Mm -hmm. And we find that a lot of our multinational customers actually want to grow in these uh, geographies where the opportunities are very large. The demographic dividend is very different. Lots of young population here. Right. And uh, what we believe is that with uh, partners like Bridgepoint, we can actually bring what we have to offer to enterprise customers. We don't have the reach and we are happy for specialists like Bridgepoint. But not just a channel partner for us, they are actually a technology advisor uh, to the enterprise customers to bring that back to India and Africa. So we are super excited. In fact, I just met uh, Mel of G Bridgepoint the uh, day before yesterday and uh, we're super excited about this partnership. Oh, well, and talking about that Bridgepoint partnership, what Airtel services will now be available to U.S. customers and how will it access to these services benefit these businesses? Yeah, great question, Jamie. And uh, uh, so one is, of course, uh, any uh, cable requirement to get into India that we have uh, limb capability to get into India. And then we have data centers, plus we have last mile access. Right. So whether you want to get into India or Africa, or uh, you want to be hosted in a data center there, or you want to further be distributed through our uh, terrestrial access, all of that's available. And I think uh, the big piece for us is we have about 350 million customers in India and another 100 million customers in Africa. So that's the number of eyeballs that, uh, uh, you know, uh, that's accessible through our network for U.S. customers. We are pretty excited uh, about that. And uh, in Africa in particular, we're landing two cables. We're landing Equano and uh, to Africa over the next 18 months. Oh, wow. So that's, again, another great opportunity for Incredible. U.S. enterprise customers. Yeah, get to those eyeballs and really be handheld yeah. uh, by a great Airtel. All right, so uh, you also have a unified platform, we should mention, for international yes. voice, SMS, DID, ITFS. Can you tell us a little bit more about Airtel Advantage. Yeah. So Airtel Advantage is a new portal that we launched. And the idea is a lot of our customers wanted voice solutions, but they wanted it in a very digital, seamless way. Mm. So they can easily go to a portal, discover what is available, figure out what they want, and have the agility to change it as their requirements change. And that's exactly what Airtel Advantage offers. So again, super excited to bring this. So what we are really trying to do is we have a lot of network. Uh, we have a lot of the solutions. We have a lot of products, as I mentioned. We are trying to productize it, so getting a lot of products, and then platformize it. Yeah. So really make it easy for our customers to use it, and Airtel Advantage is one step in that direction. 
Again, that one-stop shop, like yeah. you discussed. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Also, you mentioned several times that large footprint in India and Africa, so many eyeballs. Can you tell us a little bit more about the solutions offered in those locations? Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, like I mentioned, we have about uh, 400,000 kilometers of fiber across these places. And in, uh, we present uh, through our international pops in about 50 continents in five countries. In India and Africa alone, we have 16 operating licenses, mobile operating licenses. So through this network, we offer products which are around the cloud, the data center, the security CPaaS area. We also offer IoT solutions and we offer ad tech solutions. So there's a full stop shop across data center, all data solutions, security solutions, IoT solutions, cloud CPaaS. So that's what we bring to bear for our customers. The whole suite, if you yeah. will. And are you looking to expand into India or Africa or yeah. both? What's on the horizon there? Yeah. So uh, we are always looking for new investments. Uh, we are pretty much, we have huge coverage in India. So we, we are uh, covered about 99.9% .9 of the geography. Uh, yeah. Africa, we are scaling up massively. Uh, but we are continuing to increase our investments manifold for two reasons. Because our customers now not just need the penetration, but they also need diversity, redundancy, and they need different efficient solutions. So we are ramping up our existing network with all of that. Uh, and in Africa in particular, 4G is growing in a big way yeah. with two cable stations landing. We expect the digital explosion to happen in Africa over the next three to five years. So that's something, again, we're investing ahead of time on. Yeah, ITW as well, right? ITW yeah, Africa yeah, coming yeah. soon. Yeah. Okay, so where can our viewers go to learn more about Airtel Business? Yeah, so viewers can visit Airtel.in Business, and you will find the whole suite of our products, solutions there. And if viewers have any feedback, we'll be very, very happy to learn and uh, become better every other day. So we would welcome any feedback on the portal, on our products, on our services, on anything else you would want us to serve you with. Yeah. You know, one, one thing that strikes me every time I speak with you and your team is that no matter how big the Airtel reach is, you guys make it feel so personal. So thank you yeah. for that. It is personal. I think each and every customer of ours is uh, very personal to us. Yeah. But thanks, thanks for the kind comment. No, yeah, truly. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV. Happy networking.